A new year and a new Harmony OS Next update, this time around 500123, available here on my Mate 60 Pro, and it got some clever new updates. First of all, the lock screen. So if I go into lock screen, we have now identify music, which can then identify the music that is playing back. And another thing is we have some new Celia shortcuts, like for example, I have the ability to use a QR code scanner, but if you go into the lock screen, what you can also do is like, uh, let me go in here and let me edit this. Let me edit this. You can see that there is also the face-to-face -face translation feature. I don't have space for it right now because I have the widget for the weather here, but uh, this will allow you to use face-to-face -face translation. There's some other things there as well that is uh, quite nice. Then let's go into the system and let's check out the file manager first because we have some nice editing options here. We can now edit the list of applications down below that are showed. So if you want to have WeChat on the top, you can edit it and put WeChat on the top. Then WeChat is always on the top, so you can list up all the files with uh, WeChat first. And we have some settings options now finally that allow you to set up how it works with transfer a file using mobile data. You have some different settings, always allow files for over 100 megabytes. Uh, gigabytes or always ask and filter small images as well they're possible as well as giving feedback uh, for this uh, application. Then we have some improvements with the calendar application. So in the calendar application we now have the ability to finally add Caldav accounts. I have my next cloud account, uh, account here. So if you go to Caldav, you can now finally use this top line there to enter your credentials and I put my calendar here uh, my, my, my Nextcloud calendar in there and it should like list out uh, the Nextcloud uh, calendar entries as well. And we have the ability now to, if you have like uh, some kind of event, you can share it, you can delete it, uh, you can share it with other folks if you want to. And uh, it talks about like dragging it to the desktop somehow, but this is not working for me as a widget. Maybe I have to have a widget in here to drag it on to. Then we have the email application that now has the ability to add the Petal Mail email account. Sadly, this doesn't work with my email account because it's only supporting Chinese mainland accounts. But uh, this is an option that we have here right now. We check out the uh, settings we have under home screen and style a new theme available here. This is this one and I think there's I think the basketball theme coming as well as a new theme. So we have some new themes here. Another cool new feature is app lock. So if I want to have the beta version app locked so that I need to have my face to open up this app, I can say app lock. I have to hold my face in here and it's detecting my face and then it is locked. So whenever I want to open it up, I have to first like uh, see my face to open up the application. So let's just go away, like close the application. Let's go away, block the camera and then uh, do this. Actually, it should not be opened up now. Uh, maybe I have to, I did, I did unlock it, remove the lock. And uh, yeah, then I can remove the lock. Let's lock it again. Because I think it's for a few minutes like unlocked then. And when I try to open it now, you can see I cannot open it as long as I'm not logging in. And if it doesn't affect a face, I have the option to use a fingerprint or verify with the screen lock to open up this application, which is like a nice option there if you want to secure some applications. You now have the ability to clear the cache of uh, large applications, for example, you just by going to your settings, storage, and then in a large application like this one, for example, and there's a clear cache option there besides the uninstall app, and it will show you how much cache it has. So this is a nice option in addition to the settings as well. Another new feature that allows us to share those uh, moving pictures with Huawei Share now. So this is possible now. And also you saw that I can share multiple things with Huawei Share here now. It can be like uh, not only pictures, but uh, videos and uh, other files as well, which is quite nice. And you can see on the security list here of the changelog, there are some other features like, for example, when I'm in messages and I want to go to block messages, I have now the setting to set up some keyword block lists, uh, which allows me to block uh, certain SMS or messages via keywords here as well, which is, I think, also quite a nice feature.
Then the AI Live app now supports Pixel App X1 series printers and uh, Huawei mobile Wi-Fi devices, which is quite nice. I don't have one of those, so I cannot show it to you. But one of the most interesting things, I think, is the possibility now to, uh, under system here, add support for file transfers to PCs via USB-C port. So I want to try this out right now. So you can see here my setup, I have my device here handy. I just plug it in uh, USB-C here and then this term, this case USB-A here. And of course I have to turn it around. That's the beauty of USB-C, you can just turn it around the cable because it's a USB-A cable on the other end. No, yes, we know USB-A cables. They suck a bit. Anyway, let's plug it in, come on, go in. Go in, there we go. And uh, now it will open up as HDC device. On the screen here itself, what I can see, it's like charging now, but it's asking me also now what I want to do. There you can see it, what I want to do. And I say file transfer there, then it will pop up here as HDC device on my um, computer. And I can then just say, okay, let's open it up and see what happens. Apparently nothing is happening. Let's open up the file manager to see if we find the HDC device. There you go. It's loading. And it's using some kind of MTP protocol, which is the one protocol that I don't really like. So I'm not very keen of uh, having this if it's MTP, because MTP is usually a little bit of a bad protocol because it's taking forever to load stuff. It's a Microsoft protocol and it's not working as you see here. So this is something that uh, Huawei should work on. They should give us some kind of other format to work with instead of MTP because MTP is a dead protocol that is not working so far. Transfer files is not working for me. Try it again. And yeah, it's not working for me, but at least it's popping up. So probably maybe on Windows machines, it's working fine. Not working fine for me because it's uh, this damn MTP protocol that has some issues.